Hi S2, this is your uh, lesson for the week starting the 20th of April. Uh, what I suggest you do is you uh, pause this for a second and open up the worksheet if you haven't already done so, and that you also make sure that your virtual jotter that you've been doing all your work in is open because that's where you're going to be putting all of your answers. Uh, the due date for this is no later than Thursday the 30th of April, so you'll notice it's not the end of this week, but the end of the following week. Uh, and that gives you quite a bit of time to work on this because there's a there's a few little tasks that I think you're going to find quite interesting, but they do take it just a little bit of time to do. Right. The lesson today is going to be on uh, what it's like for people living in developing countries. Uh, we've already established this idea that uh, people in developing countries don't live as long. The health care is not as good. They have a lot less wealth. And therefore, the reality of more than two billion people on our planet is that they live in absolute poverty uh, and are more than likely to live in um, housing areas known as shanty towns. And that's the idea that we're going to be exploring in the lesson today. Um, so the first thing you're going to have to do is write down the heading for today's lesson, which is what is it like to live in a developed country, the case of India. And the very first task I'm going to ask you to do is to write a one part paragraph description of what actually a shanty town is. Okay, describes what it is and most importantly, why do people actually live in shanty towns? Because I don't think either you or me would choose to live in them. So what's driving this? Uh, then I'd like to find a picture of Darravi, uh, which is spelt that way there. And this is one of the world's largest shanty towns. It has over a million people living in roughly two square kilometers. It makes it one of the most densely populated areas on the planet. Well, that means it's one of the most crowded places in the world. So you've got to find a nice picture of this um, and copy it into your virtual jotter. What I'd then like you to do is using the picture, um, come up with four descriptions uh, or four characteristics of a shanty town. Uh, and actually uh, during today's lesson on the video and uh, some things I'm going to talk about, You'll get a much clearer idea about what those some of those four descriptions of your shanty town might be. They've got to be something that's visible in the photograph that you choose. OK, so that's task number four. Um, I then would like you to um, film, watch this film, which uh, it's quite a long film. It's about 50 minutes. Uh, it's a really interesting film. It was made about uh, eight, nine years ago, and it was filmed in Darravi, and it's a British TV presenter who goes and spends a couple of weeks in the shanty town, uh, meeting various families, and he and he takes us further and deeper into the shanty town across the video. Now, as you watch this, uh, you're going to see him walk into the middle of this shanty town. So here's a photograph of the shanty town itself, and what you can see some of the characteristics of your typical shanty is the roofing is often corrugated iron, like you can see here. If you've got a bit of money, you might be able to afford some kind of tiles. The shacks are all tightly packed together. Some are built using wood. You see one down here. Some are built using concrete blocks. They don't have windows. Um, they have no kind of heating or ventilation. Um, and they're crowded and packed all together. The, the, there's just small alleyways between them. You can't really see it in this photograph, but uh, there aren't any really any roads in Darabee. And in this shanty town here, we're talking about 2 million people, making it as big as the city of Birmingham. Um, if we have a little look here, this is a quite a famous picture taken from the, the middle of um, Darby, um with a girl walking on the central water pipe for the whole of Mumbai, which is the city in which Darby is found. And you get to see some more characteristics in terms of what the buildings are built from. You know, people don't have toilets in their shacks. Uh, they don't have running water. The waste just lands up on the street human waste. Uh, in this here, you can see this is an open sewer. Uh, rubbish just lies around all over the place um, because there aren't any, there's no rubbish collection, there's narrow alleyways, there's no roads, um, and everything that people buy has to be bought into the shanty town from outside. Um, if we just click through this little photograph here, a second photo, which if it loads up is going to take us into a shanty town. No, that's not taking us into the shanty town. Let me just go back a second. There we are. Um, 
So this is inside one of the shacks. You, you're going to be looking at a building which is roughly 12 foot by 12 foot. So if you think about your average man being around about six foot, and if you lay two men down head to toe, then that was that's how long one of these shacks would be. And you can be looking at a family of about 10 to 12, maybe up to 15 or 20 living in these shacks. Uh, obviously, they're more than one floor. They're two or three stories. They're poorly built. They can collapse in the wet season during the monsoon. Uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, fire is a big problem in these shanty towns uh, because there's no proper fire safety. Um, you're going to get rats running around, all kinds of other bugs and beasties. Um, and a disease is a real common problem in shanty towns because there isn't any proper sanitation. Uh, people drink contaminated water and literally go to the toilet in the streets, many of them. Now, if we go back to uh, the actual task, now that I've kind of given you a, a visual description of what Darby looks like, you're going to have to watch the video uh, and then answer these questions. One of them, which involves finding an image of the shanty town, uh, what the inside of a shanty looks like. So when you're watching the video, you might choose to pause it and do a screenshot or a clip, uh, something from the, the frame, uh, or you might just choose, choose to find one on, in the uh, shanty town. And the other uh, questions can be answered simply by watching the video. And that's the entire task for uh, till the 30th of April. So I hope you enjoy this, uh, this learning experience. Um, don't skip through the video. It is a really interesting piece of geography. Um, it's a really interesting area of the subject. Uh, and, and I'm looking more for you to be able to describe what these places are like and think about um, how the lives of people living here, and we're talking about two billion humans, are very different from your own life because of the way you live in the house you live in compared to um, people that live in poor developing countries. So I hope you've all had a nice Easter uh, and I look forward to you handing in your work when it's completed.